Oh man, okay, you know what? I've always wanted to try out the Spark the Electric Jester series. I've always wanted to. It sounds like a fun experience, but why is it that we have to constantly compare one legend to another when it comes down to attributing certain aspects of one game and downplaying the other simply because, hey, one did it better? But yeah, a lot of you are probably already familiar with the usual, like, discussion in question where it's like, oh yeah, I like Spark the Electric Jester and I want people to promote this game and I want people to experience this game for what it is. But in order to do that, I'm gonna talk crap about Sonic and how a Sonic team have no idea what they're doing with the modern Sonic formula and how Spark the Electric Jester deserves to get more of a spotlight, blah, blah, blah. It's a constant comparison that honestly should not even be a thing in the first place. Like it's so stupid, I don't even know why you're doing it. And I totally understand that Sonic games of today, or at least back in from 2013 till now, haven't really developed a momentum-based high-speed platforming experience that, yeah, Spark the Electric Jester has provided with 2 and 3 respectively. But at the same time, there's no point in demeriting Sonic's glory days and trying to emphasize the praise of Spark the Electric Jester and just, you know, causing this major, major outrage simply because you prefer one game over the other. It's completely dumbassery through and through because Spark the Electric Jester is a solid game. It is, but it doesn't deserve to be compared to Sonic because it just loses out the value of Spark the Electric Jester in the sense of, oh, it's just trying to rip off Sonic and trying to be the better Sonic experience. While in reality, Spark games are just trying to be their own thing. Like the indie developer took inspiration from the Sonic games and just wanted to make his own thing. So there really is no point in trying to compare an apple to an orange here. Well, at the end of the day, they're both fruit to be enjoyed. And I know I made that comparison in a one video at some point, but I'm trying to emphasize it here. Like it's just not worth it trying to praise one game while complaining about the other in terms of what it didn't do. Because you also have to understand that Sonic games are trying to be Sonic games and Spark is trying to be Spark. And while I love the emphasis of the high speed platforming galore that Spark 2 and 3 have emphasized since those are more 3D modeled games and I believe the first game was a 2D one but I'm not 100% sure. But Spark 2 and 3 are solid games. Like they are phenomenally well done. Don't get me wrong about that front but they don't deserve to be compared to Sonic games as a means to praise what it has done right. And a good example of what I'm trying to say is like, let's say for example, two things are very similar to each other, you know, in this case, Sonic and Spark, you know, they have their good qualities and their bad qualities, but it doesn't deserve to have a judgment call of like, oh, because you didn't have this, and this one had, therefore this one is better and shall be praised to the hell and back and the other one will be sit in a corner for a timeout because it didn't do the one thing that frankly probably wasn't told to do in the first place. So again, it's just a stupid point to make. And furthermore, to re-emphasize what I'm trying to say here, Spark 3 and Sonic Frontiers are both the recent comparison and the reason why I'm making this video in the first place and if you look at the gameplay footage of Spark 3 and the gameplay footage of Sonic Frontiers, they're two completely different directions. Like Sonic Frontiers was meant to emphasize an open zone adventure while trying to create a Sonic adventure like experience in the process while Spark the Electric Jester 3 is just trying to be a 3D high speed platformer. Like there's no strings attached to that in the sense of like, oh, uh, Spark the Electric Jester 3 is a much better Sonic experience for an indie development game and blah, blah, blah. Because again, you're ruining the image of Spark by comparing it to Sonic and not letting it be on its own pedestal. Spark deserves his own pedestal. And that's the major emphasis of this video here. If you continue to compare Spark to Sonic, he will not have a pedestal to properly stand on and be considered a properly critically acclaimed character if it's gonna be constantly compared to Sonic. It's the same thing as it was back in the day where you had Mario and Sonic competing against each other and there were two platformers and they were constantly being compared to each other simply because they were two platformers. Like, does that make any sense? Probably not, but at the same time, I think it does. All Spark needs is his own level of praise and not praise by shitting on another Sonic game or just Sonic period, but just giving it its own merits. Yes, is it like a Sonic game or should Sonic be like Spark the Electric Jester? Absolutely. 
but you also have to consider that Sonic is just a character that at this point can do whatever the hell he wants. He had an open world adventure and that was a really good experience and Spark the Electric Jester is just a standard 3D platformer that is ridiculously well done. But that's it. That's honestly, the, the level of comparison is that it is a Sonic expired, inspired game but everything else should be given its own level of criticism and what it can do to further enhance the Spark franchise rather than use it to downplay the quality of what Sonic games have done during the span of 10 years, give or take. But that's enough on that front, so if you want to continue comparing Spark to Sonic, by all means, continue because it's just going to show how dumb you are and it has been shown every single time the comparison has been made. So if you are watching this video, just compare Spark to Spark and compare Sonic to Sonic. At the very least, you can use Sonic as a basis to state the claim for what Spark has done as an emphasis to Sonic-like platforming, but Spark is his own franchise, it needs to be considered as his own franchise, and not be praised as the game that does things better than what Sonic has done. No, it is a good franchise, it deserves way more games, but it cannot be consistently compared to Sonic. That is it. I think I've said enough on that front. If you want to roast me for doing this entire video, by all means do it. I do not care because I made my point across and I actually think I'm in the right to say all of this, but it is what it is. All I know is that Spark is an amazing franchise, but just, just give him the respect that he deserves.